Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this video, we are going to learn how we can bulk create QR codes from a CSV file. So it's important to note this video is not for your average user. This is going to be a more advanced uh, tutorial and it's also using an application outside of Darkroom. So um, that's something we wouldn't be able to offer additional support on. So um, let's jump right in and see how to do this. So here's my computer, and first um, we're working from a Excel document, and you can see I have uh, ID and the first name, last name, and then I have all this information, these <clears throat> uh, rows or these columns, then combined into a single line and that's using this formula right here, concat. And then uh, just for visual uh, representation, I also have um, oops, this one, and that's just so it's taking the first and last name so we can actually have the first and last name on our QR code label. So that's how the uh, fields are then merged. And so we'll close this. And uh, so those fields were merged, and then um, the original data was then removed. So it's just two columns what's going to become our QR code and what's going to become our text. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're going to do is uh, close that. We're going to open up uh, Bartender. And that's actually what's going to take that data from the spreadsheet and then turn it into QR codes. And um, we're going to print labels from there. So we'll start with a new document. Okay, so we're going to start with a blank template. And I'm using my Dymo label printer. And I'm going to use cust uh, custom settings. The size I am currently using is a 30. Two five eight, and uh, this you can kind of—it's not too important, but um, I'm just adjust is setting up the print uh, dimensions and go with point two, point two, and this is specific for this printer. Um, setting my margins. Okay, next, finish. Okay, so before we get into designing the, lab uh, the label, we're going to go ahead and just connect our database, which is our CSV file that I showed you just a minute ago. So it's text file, uh, database file, let's go by class and grade CSV, we're going to click next, and oops format comma separated values and if we look at the fields we can see that we have those two fields similar to what we had in the, the spreadsheet okay. and so next we are going to go to our fields and set the alias field one is going to be our QR So we know that this one's going to be text that will show up at the bottom and above that is going to have our QR code. Okay, so next we're going to add our barcode and select QR code. And we'll double click on it. <clears throat> human readable we're going to 
it's set to, to none for visibility. And for um, data source, we are going to pull that from our database field. And that should be the QR code data. And close make this just a little bit smaller so it fits on that label okay <clears throat> next thing we're gonna do is add text we'll double click on that and then for sample text or for um, type we're gonna do the same thing database field next and then name text and finish and we can see that this information has been pulled from our um, our database or our, our CSV file so we'll go ahead and click close and now at this point we can click print do a preview and then we can go through and print our QR codes I'll go ahead and click print and then we're just gonna do one through five just so we get five I believe that has uh, 75 kids and I will include the these um, database or CSV files in the Excel file um, as examples, but this is what just printed. If you look, it has a QR code with all the information, ID, first name, last name, and then for the next kid, next kid. And we do that for all 75 or in your case, a uh, thousand kids in a school or in a sports league and in this situation <clears throat> what we do is then go into core edition and create a new catalog I'm gonna go ahead and leave it inside Outdoor Adventure, but typically you would select school here. Now what would happen is we have our QR code scanner right here. We have our catalog selected. We're gonna go to the photo workshop. And I'm gonna start with the first kid. Capture a couple images of that kid. Okay, and then we go to the next one. a couple images of that kid and let's go to the next one you want to make sure that darkroom selected whenever you scan it and then cap capture a couple images of that kid and <clears throat> now when we um, look at the properties, you can see under user comments, the ID, um, first, 
last we go to this image we should see very similar information but for a different child and then same thing here so where this becomes really powerful that data is now attached to that image if we select a template that has text fields that are predefined to match up with that information all we have to do is select the image and it'll automatically update so this can be used with id cards trader cards in this situation anything that needs data that information is now attached to that image this will work very well for schools sports leagues churches anything where you have to attach data to an image and then pull it up later and what else is really neat about this is we'll go ahead and select this image right here <clears throat> I can use oops I can use the F2 key and if I type in Ryan I know that was one of the names it will then find that image so I can use that to search um, for images and I can also use it within the presentation mode so let's say um, it was one that we had before Henry you can see it now found Henry's images these are actually uh, that's my daughter Penny but you can see how this would work and how you'd be able to retrieve images and use that data that's now attached to that image once again this is not necessarily for more basic user this is going to be a advanced or power user that's going to use this information um, or this type of workflow um, it does require a, a third party <clears throat> and it does require a third party application um, bartender by Siegel Scientific and I believe it's a hundred dollars a year subscription for that software and that's that is third party so that's not something we would be able to offer help or support with so if this looks like something that you can use go ahead and give it a shot thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time take it easy